What up, you nerds? Let me ask you something. You know how scout rifles, as a weapon archetype, overall, are usually supposed to represent precision and carefully timed accuracy? Well, lol to that, because allow me to introduce you to the Symmetry Exotic Scout Rifle in D2 Season of Dawn. If you have the Season Pass, you can get this weapon literally right away when signing in, and if you don't, you can get it at rank 35, which shouldn't be too hard. As an officially certified weapon tester, a title I made up myself that has no value, allow me to give you my professional opinion on the symmetry. <clears throat> this thing is f bananas. It's a 260 RPM scout rifle, meaning this thing fires very fast. It's on the same tier as the Randy's throwing knife. Also, like Randy's throwing knife, by design, the symmetry can shoot in full auto. Here's where things get a little crazy. The exotic perk, Revolution. Holding down the reload button swaps the gun into its alternate fire mode, where shots go from hit scan to slower moving projectile, and they seek towards your target. The seeking is generous. It's still possible to miss for sure, but look at this. Even aiming somewhat remotely near your target, that hitbox is getting activated. Side note though, you're going to do more damage if your seeker is already on target and getting direct hits, so still try to get those. But yeah, it's kind of hard to miss in seeker mode. Also, when firing in seeker mode, not only does your shot travel time go down, but the rate of fire on the weapon also goes way down. Keep that in mind. The next perk you need to know about is this, dynamic charge. Every time you land a headshot, you build up a dynamic charge on the gun. So you land three headshots, that's a three times dynamic charge in the chamber. The maximum charge amount is 15 on the weapon, but for PvP, you really don't need to get that high. We'll get to that in a minute. Acquiring dynamic charges is great, and the good news is that charges do not go away if you switch the weapon, and there's no timer to them at all before activating them. They will get reset if you die though, so uh... Try not to die, I guess. When activating Arc Seeker mode, the higher your dynamic charge level is, the more damage per Seeker shot you're going to do. By how much? Well, now you're asking the important questions, buddy. Let's put it this way. At default level 1, the Seeker shots are strong enough to 4-tap an enemy, 50 damage each. At dynamic charge level 3, they do 78 damage per shot, which is enough to 3-tap an enemy. At 7 times the charge, the shots do over 100 damage each, giving you the potential to two-tap people. These are the numbers you should be trying to hit, either dynamic charge three for a three-tap or dynamic charge seven for a two-tap. Now I've seen people on Twitter trying to flex already with their dank two-tap potential on a 15 charge dynamic shot. Boys, this is what we call not optimal. You don't need to go higher than seven if your goal is to two-tap, again. Dynamic charge 3 for a 3-tap, and dynamic charge 7 for a 2-tap. Kinda confused? I know, a lot of numbers. Here's the TLDR. Go into PvP, acquire headshots normally, the way you would with a scout rifle, and pump up those dynamic charge numbers. When your dynamic charge number is high, again, either at 3 or 7 in my opinion, activate alternate fire mode by holding the reload button and tear your enemies a new b-hole. Another thing to keep in mind though is that when you begin firing in alternate fire mode, not when you turn it on, but when you begin firing, that activates a timer, about 10 seconds give or take, so you have precious little time to start murdering people. But oh man, the potential this weapon has is really making me drool. I don't know if it's going to be wildly amazing on smaller maps with bad lines of sight, but uh, big maps like Equinox and Eternity? Mother of God. Well, alright, enough talking. I'm gonna head into PvP and get a better feel for this weapon overall. I'm just gonna let the gameplay kind of roll on this one. I know sometimes a lot of you like hearing my commentary live, and I do really appreciate that, but I'm gonna save that for some future live commentary videos. Why not do it right away? Why not right now? Eh, well, Season of Dawn just went live, and I'm trying to dive in deep right away, get my hands dirty with all this new content. So I kinda have to get back to the grind right now. Hope you understand. Anyway, enjoy the gameplay and the quick analysis of the symmetry. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Double down. Double 
double down. Double down. And that's why we have fire team. This is wonderful. Double down. This is how you grow stronger. Glory, glory. Double down. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. Why we have fire team. That shut them down. Double down. Your moments of clarity are weapons, Warlock. They just took the lead. Enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> You've gained the lead. Two for one. Enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> I know a comeback when I see one. Fight on! Three minutes remaining.
That shut them down. Enemy down. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent.